Are you having some fun with the pirates? Oh yes, fun. That that's the word we're using. Yep. Report. Mm -hmm. I think pirates, you know, spice of the game. They do in this because they're all Corellian corvettes and Marauder corvettes, Marauder cruisers. Sorry. Awaiting orders. Go, my well, pretties. What? Oh, I love the little laser effect. Hit you. Oh, you saw the this gamma assault shuttle finally. Oh no, the no, just oh. uh, the your lasers in general. Ah. They're they're subtle, and they they're very Star Warsy. Yep. Not That's like what you would get in uh, the old school Empire at War. God, how old is that game now? About that was five. Holiday. Yeah, like eleven years, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. I remember that game being really hard on the hardware oh, when it came yes. out. Destination is that was a that was a very heavy Preparing game for its time. I didn't I didn't have a de even Preparing a decent computer until job. a couple of years ago, so it was still very hard on the computer. Well, with certain mods, it's always station. been hard. But all right, time to yeah. die. Our backup is joining. Bye, the pirates. No, why are you not ready? Need more metal. Yes, dear. Oh. Ready to go. I think it's time to invest in culture. No, that just that just ruins yeah. things. You don't want to do that. I'm actually with you, Killa. I haven't found anyone yet. Oh no, I found We've, uh, we found found both found me. Yep. Yeah. We could squish you. Yes, sir. You could not. Could? You can't beat my massive fleet. Massive fleet, task force, small, you know, all interchangeable. <laughs> <laughs> well played, sir. Crews are online. On station, we are ready. Cruiser reporting. Structure complete. Ah, uh, I am. Cruiser okay. reporting. Star Destroyer reporting in. The heck was that ability? Your order, sir. Uh -huh. Oh, I, I forgot about the. Oh, I forgot about that. What was that? Sorry. Preparing for hype. What the heck is that ability? Probably sums up my mods in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> Buff chains, chains. Uh, th no, there was just uh, some weird blue glow that formed around the back end of my Imperial Two Star Destroyer. Uh, what's the worst? Imperial that One Star Destroyer. Oh, I forgot about the your awesome strike cruiser upgrade system. Yes. Strike Cruiser, one of the nice cruisers in the game, and you can upgrade it with all these wonderful little things. Wonderful as long as you have money. <laughs> Which I do, and I'm going to, because it's a Strike Cruiser, another cool looking ship. Yeah, the Strike Cruiser is probably, well, after the Gladiator, is probably my second favorite cruiser size ship for the Empire. Oh, no, 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 I did not see that. Run, 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 run away, run away. Hi, Connor. Guess what gets to follow you back? Please turn around a bit quicker. <laughs> this would be an embarrassment and a fucking failure if everything dies. Excuse the language. <laughs> it's okay, I, I've never claimed that my channel is family friendly. Yep, that's... Uh... That's probably wise, decision. Oh, what do you mean I don't have fleet capacity? Oh. Run away. That's an ISD two. It's Star even worse. Oh, I forgot I built one of those. Star destroyer standing by. Bomb. See, th this one's named the the Lusantia too. It's 
but you know very sins deadly. random names <laughs> yes Structure I've had a few people from like who watch these who don't normally do sins videos and they get people are in the comments all going why is Tatooine an asteroid <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I believe is, it. Uh, your They're a victory star destroyer named Lucinkia, our executor. It's kind of like, I, I wish I could, believe. guys. I wish I could. But, you know, sins. But, yeah. Sins being well, sins, it map, doesn't look You know, the custom maps, you can do that. This one should be pretty accurate. I mean, sometimes it's hard to pick a planet type for, you know, a few of these. Uh, yeah, let's see a good reporting. example. Aren't the Enforcer like, and the Vindicator based? Oh no, one's more anti-fighter, isn't it? The yeah, in this mod at least the at your command. The Vindicator gets a fleet support upgrade that lets it slightly heal itself in a friendly capital ship, while the Enforcer gets anti-fighter guns. Huh. So one's more of a independent, all-purpose patrol ship, which is the Enforcer, while the Vindicator is much more focused on. Uh, fleet warfare, working with other ships. A lot of Imperial abilities kind of follow that theme. Is that wrong with that? Nope. Did that because they're all to support the Imperial Star Destroyers, aren't they? Oh yeah, their whole faction is like, they have actually really good frigates and cruisers stat-wise, but they have almost no support for them because they all care about their Star Destroyers and Titans. Well, the Super Star Destroyers. Star Dreadnoughts, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> so big triangles. Kind of take the giant big, big triangle things. Yes. <laughs> That's what the Empire puts its attention on. So their frigates and cruisers tend to take heavier losses than they really should for how good they are. Just because you know, they're supposed to be treat them as expendable. So but Same on the other me. hand you get really good you have the best uh, taxation-based economy by far, so... I noticed that. Yep. Empire likes their taxes and high population planets. So they can tax them more. <laughs> <laughs> I am okay with this. You know, they almost feel like an anti-federation. Yeah, I mean, they're kind of, I guess, it's kind of weird that uh, I'm kind of treating the TEC rebels as basically space Nazis, that's what the Empire was supposed to be. <laughs> and then now with the Episode 7, it feels like that's what the First Order is, even more so now. Yeah. Was that the only one that thought that? Was like, oh no, they were very Nazi, wasn't they? It. Well, not yeah, so much. I mean, I mean, well, unless do you think Snoke is an alien, or do you think he's just a highly deformed human? I was really disappointed he wasn't a pure blood Sith. It would have looked a lot better than that. <laughs> well, I don't know. I think it works because the force. because uh, yeah. in in killing Palpatine and dying. I think Vader actually fulfilled the prophecy that he destroyed the Sith, the last remaining Sith. I don't think Snoke I'm talking is about the... the actual race. Yeah, I know. But yeah, not that's a... technically Vader. none of that is canon. Well, Darth Plagueis the Wise is still canon, isn't For it? now. Yep, Darth Plagueis is. Because he was in, he was, you know, mentioned in Episode Three. Yep. Yeah. So I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. One of. I don't know if you guys are of the mind, but you know the back to tank you see in the Rogue One trailer. Intel reports an impending pirate raid. Yes, is that, no. That's supposed to, is that the Svan yes. theory? Yeah, that's one of them. That it's Snow. Research complete. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. Because there's a robed figure, kind of kneeling down to it, and. Imperial guards in the back. Yeah, but you always oh, get yeah. the impression from the film that the Emperor was the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate evil bad guy in charge. He, he probably was. If, I mean, if Snoke is Plagueis, Palpatine might have kept him alive. Research complete. Yeah, I don't know. Research complete. He still looks pretty. 
I just wish... I don't know. I was... I, I, I call him the rejected Harry Potter villain and how he looks, so... <laughs> I'm, on, I, I'm not a big... I'm not terribly excited for anything to do with Snoke. Whatever he ends up being. Hmm. They will have to do quite something interesting with him besides being the generic new overlord bad guy. For me to ever actually like him. Yeah. I don't know. It, it'll be interesting to see what they do with him for storyline-wise. Research complete. Yeah. Other than trade, Ky train Kylo Ren. Like, for some reason, he thought he shouldn't be doing that from the beginning. But. Oh, dear, part of me. Excuse I don't know. I'm still kind of passively disliking the new stuff, so. Oh. Well, but I thought they made a good movie. Me. The characters were good. I don't like what they did with the lore overall. I feel like it just kind of diminishes the original trilogy because ultimately they all failed. Versus no, the expanded universe. they didn't like, fail. The Republic was created. They the only thing they succeeded in doing was killing the Empire and destroying and building the Republic, yes, but... You know, versus the expanded universe. Oh, Han and Leia's marriage actually works. Luke succeeds in building a Jedi Order and not having it all killed later. I don't know. It, well, no, they all kind of die it. later, and the Empire gets recreated in the form of the Galactic Alliance. And well, there's still a lot of Jedi around when the Galactic Alliance was formed. I thought the Galactic Alliance is more ambiguously gray than yeah, ruled by a bad guy. Preparing for hyperspace jump. Tomato, tomato. Well, which, which, how far in the Galactic Alliance are we talking about here? <laughs> Right, there's, yeah, different stages. It, basically, yes. it becomes a mess. Is and it becomes a fell empire. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I never read the Legacy era that far, so I don't really care about whatever they want to say back that far either. There we go. Spoiler alert, it won't be in the mod. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, everyone loves to use Ong Vong. Yep. Yeah, no, not so much. Giant pieces of coral flying through space. I wasn't a fan. <laughs> so, Standing by. new features. What are some more of them? Uh, let's see. All sorts of... What else does one... What does the 1.83 patch allow us to do? You Multiple Titans. Uh, you can transfer experience now. That's destroy planets oh. through ship abilities. Yep, we are not quite doing anything with either of those things yet, but we're talking about it. Especially since uh, I actually requested the ship XP thing, so. Nice. Rest assured, there will be ideas for that. Yep. You upgraded. Preparing for uh, hyperspace jump. Preparing for hyperspace jump. Preparing for hyperspace jump. Let's see. I guess the tech tree's got a little bit of rebalancing. You might have noticed on the well, or maybe you didn't on the Imperial on one. We are ready. A lot of people found it confusing how to get the dreadnoughts because it was just the warship space. reactivation tech. And they don't usually look in the civic tree for that, so yeah. we actually gave it its own research. Well, and, and that there, there are a lot of Sins players that don't know if you click on something and it says you need it. If you search through it, it's actually yeah, yeah. I mean, highlighted. It's almost like oh they no, 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 no. How did that not <laughs> get picked up? Fuck. Reporting. What'd you do, Connor? I don't think it's something he did. Oh. Why? Why? Why gunships? These these are not necessary. <laughs> build on, build on, build on faster, faster. What the? Destroyer here. Yes, Commander. At your command. Standing by. Oh my goodness. Waiting orders. Armed and ready. Systems online. Awaiting orders. Weapons online. Gunship reporting.
Star Destroyer standing by. Oh, hey, I don't have culture there anymore. Your crown. He's coming towards me. None shall pass. <laughs> That's kind of cool how they ended up with it. Um, this isn't a hospital frigate, it's armed! So was the hospital frigate. It's not nearly as much as it should have been. Oh, wait, wait. It's. I, it I'm Warlords. Do I get to build the Asgard frigate? No. Gotcha! Come on. Why? You didn't let me finish telling you how to get it. Okay, so, for those who have no idea what we're talking about, because that was... Oh, that was octuplet... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm really distracted. ISD2 fires octuple turrets really fast. That's cool. Um, yep. Um, we were talking before we started this match about the Rebel Hospital Frigate. E, or in other words, the Nebulon B Frigate. And... I was complaining that it's not an escort frigate like it was originally designed. It's how it was in episode 5. Yes, but there were more than just the one. Yes, yes, there's more than just the one, but... I didn't want to reuse the same shit for multiple roles except for the CR-90 for the ambassador ship. The and diplom diplomatic thing. I'm okay with reusing ships for non-combat roles, I suppose. Understandable. But yes. Yes, Commander. There is technically the escort version of the Nebulon B, and that is designed to actually shoot things more heavily. It's now in the mod. It's just uh, not easy to get at this time. Because we just added it. And you can only get it as the Empire right now, and I nope, am nope, not nope, the Empire. Nope. No, nope, nope. it's. No faction can build it. Oh, right. Well, I mean, get it. I, I didn't mean to say build. I meant get. Can get it. Oh, this fleet moves so slow. Get it. What? You That's... are not going to tell me how that happens either, are you? Evil. Evil. I gave you a hint. It was uh, has something to do with it. Remember the question I asked? Who builds it? Kuat. Kuat. Kuat drive yard Which... builds. Yep, you have to. If, in addition to letting you anyone build executors, it will let you build Nebulon B escort frigates. If you capture that planet, which will not be on this map. So, oh, sad, sad. You did yourself in there. Existence. We have more. <laughs> yeah. oh. Quit trying to finish that, that Golan platform, god dang it. Who are you no, talking to? Make me. I mean, you're. I know you're probably not giving it the order to build that, but it's just doing automatically. It's doing a damn fine job until it dies. Yep. Uh, yeah, until it dies, and another one spawns, and then it dies. Maybe. It dies. You know, it's it's a vicious circle. Really, it really is. It is. is. Uh, you know, it's a very <laughs> depressing cycle to be a sins <laughs> constructor if you think about it. <laughs> I'm the Empire, I don't give a crap about individual lives. Why should that I? That much is true. Hell, hundreds of thousands of people died on the Death Star, they were all expendable. <laughs> well, maybe not Tarkin. I think they would have wished she lived. Yeah. He was, you know, too prideful, but, you know, rightly so. Yeah. Right, the girl one is going to explode, but it, is, it was worth its weight in money for living that long, I think. I think it did its job without even destroying your fleet, to be fair. Yeah, but I prefer not to get shot at while you're having a delaying action. That much is certain. Against me. That much is very certain. Uh, speaking of delaying actions, the delay worked. Ah. The, the... Well... Star is that the only one you have? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, of course not. This is that's that's ridiculous. Why would Oh New Vindicator and Interdictor models, I forgot to mention that. Oh yes, they were much pretty by nice. extension enforcer, I'm assuming. Yep, the enforcer as well, yes. They're still the same model since they're basically the same ship. Preparing for hyperspace jump. 
I am going to lose an administration center. That is going to be slightly depressing, but... Yes, Commander. Our backup is joining them. Not a huge loss. Research complete. Standing by. Oh, it's there seems to be some escalation going on here. It seems you're right. Preparing for hyperspace jump. Here we go, chaps. This is it. Balls to the wall. Kill all the rebels. Kill all the rebels. Nice. <laughs> Rebel scum. Oh wait, that's me. Destination is acknowledged. Oh boy. Planet development finished. Oh god damn it. Now what? That is a large that is a lot of Star Destroyers. Leave me alone. Never. People stop Is it because I'm in the middle? <laughs> Apparently you're in the middle. The three I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> what is the effect that looks like I'm traveling through water really fast around all my ships? I don't need this kind of The shields? Attack. No, it's like white fizz coming from in a circle around my ship and going from the front to the back. Oh, that might be one of the... It's probably one of the vanilla sins effects that we use for some of the minor healing abilities. Oh, okay. It's, it's Weapons ready. Weird. Good to know what it is. I'm, I'm assuming we have a few, like, yeah, the kind of white-ish things. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's a bunch of minor small buffs to More use that particle, because I have nothing better. Ready Fair to enough. go. Um, Why are you attacking me? What did I do? To be fair, I was actually looking for you, your guys' fight that was going on, but you know. Oh, you don't need to attack the a planet, do you? Well, no one really needs to. Uh, you have some planets. <laughs> You're a, a burgeoning, growing, you know, thing. Oh, so Immobilizer 418 Cruiser actually... Okay, I see. Looks a lot better. Actually, no, I mean it actually unlocks the interdictor. Awaiting your command. Yeah. Okay. Preparing for hyperspace jump. Cruiser online. Now, are you really winning destroying my things? That is the question. I think that's kind of how this game works. You see... Destroying stuff usually has positive outcomes for, for yes. you know, wars. Correction. Destroying stuff that's not fine. Reporting. Yeah, destroying the other person's stuff is usually helpful Star and more. By. No, I could sell you weapons. You know. <laughs> oh, that's much better. Where's the fun in that? The warlords actually have a tech about that. What? Have you gotten at Exodus? Black Market? I do now. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice early tech. Yeah, if I had seen that, I'm sure it would have been. <laughs> Our capital ship has been heavily damaged. Yes, sir. Forcer. Oh yes, that's a pretty looking ship now. Yep. Awaiting your command. Research complete. Yes, Commander. Your command.
Exactly. You, pe you people, you people have made me put money into things I shouldn't have had to. <laughs> Defenses? Who needs to invest in that? I should just build more triangle ships. <laughs> yeah. You know. Oh yeah, it's an anti-matter restore ability, them. whatever it is. I don't know what does it, but that's what's... What? Whatever does the okay, anti-matter restore me. ability for the Warlords. Ah. Uh, that hits, like, everyone. Yeah, that's, uh... It's kind of distracting, oh, actually. Yeah, it's a little... We, we, need to, we need to replace that. Yeah, that's the Victory 2's redoubled efforts. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, it just doesn't fit. But it's okay. You know. I know it's a, you're you're still pretty early on in particle cool. effects, so understandable. Yes, I, I I only recently actually learned how to use particle forge. I'm kind of embarrassed by that, but it's a finicky little program, I find. It is a finicky little program. Yes. yes. Commencing. Bombers at the ready. But. Setting up my run, sir. You what I like as well is that the culture actually has a positive impact on planets and stuff. And you liking that? Yeah, I I always did like that. I think a lot more. I think a lot more mods could uh, do with utilizing that a lot better. Well, this one. Oh, hey Connor, you know that Golem Three you were building? Yeah, it's I didn't. Cool. I didn't destroy it. I just destroyed the tug. <laughs> Destroyer here. Oh, those are really big booms on the planet. Holy cow! What did you do? Oh, just your bombardment effects. Oh, really, no. really big explosions. From just the turbo laser bombardment? Yeah. Hmm. I don't think they were that big compared to most sin stuff, but. Well, they are. Okay. <laughs> Does your federation not blow up planets? Are they against that? No, oh, they Is still blow up planets. They do. Okay. They do. Because, you know, screw them people on there. We're doing the... I think technically a few other mods do this, but... The next big version will have the Mandalorians replace the pirates, and they mostly just land troops on the planet. Nice. You're running away? You could have an opportunity here for a battle on your then, video between two big fleets. Yes, but I'm going to lose said battle. How are you going to lose said because battle? Because your freaking Golan 3s damaged several of my Star Destroyers. So? Come on. Well, the Empire, our Star Destroyers are just as good damage as... Oh, no, wait, no, they're not. No, they tend to run into really Death Stars not. once they're damaged. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we, we won't. It's an unfortunate go there. side effect. <laughs> yeah, it, it's. I hear you. Um... See, I'm now becoming a rather insular little empire here. This is. Research complete. I blame you. This is your fault. But Misa are doing nothing. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Dave, that's one thing I don't ever want to do again is iconography. Like yeah. lots of it. Yeah, you and lots. me both. Uh, are reporting. Yeah, for those who don't know, uh, Connor and myself were responsible for most of the icons in Star Trek Armada 3. And Go driver, please, brain please. That was a really shitty job. <laughs> Standing by. I would actually, out. What I, as for all the artwork related stuff, I actually don't mind the UI. No, your but. UI, your UI is very imperially feeling on this one. How does the rebels? That, look? I will say I was. We modeled the rebels on the Tantive Four. Inside. What in the, the freaking? You have a Star Forge. Awaiting orders. Did Who's... you have that one in the last release too? Yeah. Oh, that's something that's different. Uh, we replaced all the vanilla artifacts with Star Wars ones. 
Ah, and here I am not even exploring planets yet. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Uh, At least we explore them when you own them. You have to discover the ancient stuff buried underneath them. Uh, typical Empire ignorance. Just We own the planet, surely there's nothing else on it. <laughs> now, by physical damage taken, do you mean like missiles and torpedoes? Missiles, torpedoes, uh, auto cannons. Yeah, et cetera, all that et kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah, I think the Advent are the only faction without any physical weapons at all. Everyone else at least has some sort of missile analog. Which means basically all bombers and long range frigates. Yeah. Except the Advents have. And it just totally. Totally screws over the TEC if you play them. What? Um, what? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. There is nothing uh, to see not here. Attacking an empire. Move along. Move <laughs> along. Yes, sir. Um, yes, do that, please. Yes, Commander. Screw that market. Okay, so explore planets. Preparing for hyperspace jump. Awaiting your command. Our backup is joining the fight. Awaiting orders. Open fire. Come on. Quicker. That another faction is building a new type of warship. Oh, come on. I found space ponies. <laughs> <laughs> ah, efficient bureaucracy. That'll do me nicely. Suits you, I would say. I say so. Suits the Empire. Awaiting orders. Efficiency. Wait, wait, wait. You have to explore four times. It's the same cost overall to explore 100. percent just... Oh, I love this one. G O T O or G D T D. Goto. Yeah, Goto. Super algae. That sounds. Do you not know what that's from? Disgusting. Yeah, I do. It's from. Uh, okay. Uh, Kotor two. It is. See, there are a lot more artifacts in this release as well, aren't they? Like, standing by. But more. Artifacts? There's still. E4X brings the total up to 20. We just replaced the... This release will replace the 12 original Sins artifact with all Star Wars inspired stuff. So, none of the fat artifacts from Vanilla Sins are still in the mod anymore. Good, good. good. Ooh, Titans are coming out. God damn it, both you guys are building Titans? Well, yeah, because we, we know how to build Sins. Oh, ah! Uh, I do too. I'm just too busy. I'm too distracted by all the beautiful looking starships. Pretties. It's not my fault. Yes, I'm distracted by all the pretties. It's not my fault. Not my fault. Yes, Commander. Hmm. Yeah, Star Destroyer is pretty good, apart from one little thing. Head's a bit too. The, the conning tower's a bit too small. Think so. What, what's yeah, very good, did you pretty, say? It's pretty good. Which one? The Imperial Which Star one? Destroyers. Yeah. Do you think the Conning Tower is too small? Just a bit, but it's not bad though. I see it's pretty good. Destroyer here. To be fair, the ISD has a rather huge bridge for its size. Well, I yeah. don't know. I think it looks pretty... Like... It's pretty... Yeah, I like how I it think looks. It's, I think it's very accurate to what the movie did, actually. If, if anything, they're just ever, ever so slightly too skinny from top to bottom. Skinny? Yeah. No, they're about right on that. <laughs> they, Max got the video, width right, because they're, they're not wider than the top platform on the superstructure. Nothing of value has been found. The bridge 
compared to the top level of the superstructure below it. The bridge yeah. isn't any wider than that. I don't know. Yes, Commander. Uh, Battlefront, uh, Battlefront, uh, the new new Battlefront ISD is pretty much spot on because it's. I'm assuming the, the Interdictor class isn't uh, Max's. Nothing of value has been. No, the Interdictor's Max's. Nope. So. We are doing something. Uh, it's not in this release, but we are working on a better version to make it fit in with Max's more. I don't think he intends to ever make one. In fact, wait, the Interdictor. SMG oh, doesn't... the. Uh... Oh, the, uh, the big one. Imperial oh, Star big Destroyer one. version of the... The yeah. Star Destroyer-sized interdictor. Yes. Yeah, big that one. The, yeah, that one. Yep. Sometimes called the Dominator for the first one that we ever got to see. Wait, yes. how do I build the Vindicator? Uh, you just get the Enforcer as the what? level parts. Ha! <laughs> I get the Vindicator. Oh. But they're the same model, just the different ability. I know. It still makes me sad. Ready for okay, battle. I forgive you. Say hello to my little friend. Wait, what? Research required. What? One point in infinite engine? You need, for the Star Forge, you need yeah. to get artifacts. Or for all the, like, Capturable super weapons that get scattered around the map. Is it necessarily on perhaps. the planet that's it's orbiting? Nope. God dang it. Nope. Man, you're killing me. <laughs> One of our I was all excited, like, ooh, I have something I can use. And then no, no. Still, you might. They're 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 game winning if you get them. Navigating to so, coordinates. That's why they're set up that way. It's kind of have to be like sort of a quest in order to get this. Powerful super uh, Fair enough, game. fair enough. I had a few people I were really upset about that, but I don't really know. The only other thing I could do would have it be like Kua, where there's a huge defense fleet guarding it. Are I think gonna, it's ready to go. And are you gonna do something like the Kua Drive Yards facilities? Your command, sir. Uh well we do have the Kuat Drive Yards planet. Uh with the big orbital shipyard? Yeah, it has the ring around it, if that's oh, what you mean. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. Cool. Yep. Mon Calamari and Kuat have those things. Moving into position. Mon Calamari does. Reporting in. I was a little hesitant on that. I was going to say, I don't think Mon Calamari actually has that. It does, for sure, by the Legacy era. It's not very clear when it was built. It's not as big as Kuat's, but it's pretty close. Are there, is it going to be visually different, or are you just using the same model for it? It's the same one right now. We might change it up later to be a bit more s smaller and incomplete. Oh, fair enough. But, I mean, time-wise, you're just going for kind of different releases, so I can see that being uh, pushed to a different Right release. now, well, yeah, this release was, uh, you know, we've been kind of doing polishing stuff like the shields and everything. Wow. Oh, hey. Anyway.